friends oh, welcome back welcome back so in this video we are going to be doing some planting and garden maintenance and a little mini tour of the fountain area currently right now i am on vacation so if you hear any wind in the background maybe the ocean sound maybe even the wild goat i am in jamaica and i found some time to edit some videos that i have backed up first things first we are here and there go a dog we are here trying to add some more color to this space. And if you guys remember the last time we were here, I planted up these beautiful planters, planted up this area. By the way, these evergreens are from Facebook Marketplace. And um, they were an impulsive buy. Now, they are not sisters, okay? They are related, but they're not sisters. So they're not identical. They are not the same size. And that is okay. So I wanted, I wanted more color in the space. Um, and I was just trying to figure out where can I add more color. My husband suggested putting on these, what would you call them? Railing planters, hay rack, garden throw, like whatever the name is. It was the perfect idea. And I think I'm going to add them all the way around the veggie garden just to have it there. Like, you know, to have color all the way around. I think it'd be so cute. So this scoop that I'm using is actually an ice scoop. You can find these on Amazon. They are stainless steel. They come in plethora of sizes. It's easy on the back to just scoop it up instead of trying to like, you know, use my hands or use the whole bag instead. You know, easy on the back, easy on the body. Even though I'm going back and forth, it is cardio for the upper body, okay? Who needs a gym when you garden? So for plants, we're gonna be using geraniums. Now, geraniums are new to me and I cannot believe I've been missing out. So I was at the garden center in this beautiful, older woman suggested that i should give geraniums a try she was adding some to her garden she's been gardening for over 20 years and she just loved them they are easy to maintain they do require some work but not a lot just to keep them blooming so i was like okay why not let's just give it a try then we're going to be using some lobularia i think that's what it is um i could not see the tab but this is also new to me it is my first time using it in the garden is this a lobularia I'm not quite sure. I'm going to add the name on the screens for you guys. And then we're just going to use some super bowls or whatever I found at the nursery at the time because it is pretty late in the season. Many things are sold out. So I just grab what looked good together and what they had and just, you know, put it together just so I can have some more color in this space, you know? Well, we have something purple as well. Yeah, there we go. This is the royal velvet beautiful purple i decided to use that just to kind of tie the space together because i do have some hanging baskets with bordeaux inside of them inside the greenhouse area so we're going to be planting this up and this is what i had on hand use whatever you have guys they all do the same thing if you ask me this is what i had on hand it was the last bag the last fertilizer so i just use that and um you know just season your soil mix it in so it can marinate and then you plant your plants i am really excited like like just imagine all of these throws all the way or what do you call these railing planters um whatever they're called <laughs> hay and baskets i mean hay racks just imagine this all the way around on the outside with colors overflowing it might be a little bit too much but i don't think so i'm just gonna give it a try and see what happens so here i'm just using these as my centerpiece as my thriller give me the height i'm just gonna pack them in there now i stuff these things like lasagna okay i stuff them like sardines i had to get everything in here and they looked absolutely amazing all the colors are playing well together and i'm just so excited now this was pre-recorded before i came on vacation so I'm sure things have grown in quite a lot and it's been raining since I've been away so I cannot wait to give you guys an update of these hay racks, rail implanters, whatever you want to call them. I'm so excited.
so cute on yeah. So like them say, I Jamaica when they put on bus for gas school. Smile upon yourself. Smile upon yourself. When they not tax, when they take taxi gas school, they say, smile upon yourself. I don't care. Can't hold the bus park. They must say, smile upon yourself. Smile upon yourself, man. Look at your fit, man. Come on, mama. Just making sure. No gaps. Yeah. gorgeous so i went back and i replanted just redo the arrangements i have three of that pink and yellow super balls and i just decided to add two of the purple petunias in the middle just to merge and to kind of tie in the space together with the bordeaux in the back so i have it just looks good and then the pink is going to be tied in with the pink at the bottom with the verbena what is that no, a lantana. That's a yellow lantana and the lemonade or lemon something. Uh, I can't even think. I had too much margaritas. Oh my gosh. What am I trying to say here? Anyway, everything looks good. I'll leave all the name of the flowers in the descriptions, friends. I am so sorry. Now we're going to be sorting this out. This area looks good. It's beautiful. The obelisk. They're cute, but they can be cuter. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I decided to... Give them a little facelift nothing too crazy nothing too serious i decided to just torch them i wanted to uh bring out that wood grain i wanted to also seal them as well and just to give them a little razzle dazzle they were a little bit too plain for me they started to fade as well the natural wood was just i wasn't feeling it so here we go Oh my goodness, look at the difference guys. Just look at the difference. The inconsistency, the inconsistency in burn just makes it even, mwah, even better. It's just so beautiful. The right is the natural raw. The left is what I just did, beautiful. I love it, it's not perfect and that's what I am loving. Look at the burn. Then I went in and I sealed it with some deck and seal just to protect it from moisture and the sun. So it can last longer now we're just going to be doing my least a favorite thing in the garden which is pulling some weeds and cutting back these tulips yes these tulips been done for weeks now but i'm just now getting to them and that is okay okay are we are we rushing if we do everything at once what are we going to do tomorrow what are we going to do next week so i'm finally now just getting to these tulips if you look really really close you can see them poking up poking up their head trying to be seen um, so I'm just going to go in and do what I can and get them cut down and just pull whatever weeds my hand can reach. Weeds are not really my top priority. It's the tulips right now. So yeah.
And now we are like in the front quadrant and this area has always been my problem area and I just kind of neglected this space. I'm going to do an overhaul of the two front quadrants of this space. I have four quadrants around the fountain. The back two, amazing, thriving, growing. The front two is struggling, it's struggling. The lighting is different. The ground is different. The gr is <laughs> We're going to get it together. Anyway, if you guys remember, I had the alyssum in the back and the mini Vista white in the front because I ran out of Alyssum in the back. Alyssum, I misjudged the space. It was way deeper or longer in length than I anticipated, so I needed more plants. The front is a little bit shorter, so we you know, we did what we had to do. It's two different looks, and I am feeling the Alyssum. The Alyssum is gorgeous. It's the first time in my garden, and I'm obsessed. The mini white, she's doing her thing, you know, but the Alyssum is really outshining at the moment. You guys will see. So I'm just pulling tulips. I'm cutting them back to the base. I'm not pulling them up. I'm just cutting them back to the base. These are Dorin hybrid tulips. I hope, I hope I said that right. Dorwin, Darwin hybrid tulips. They come back. They do better here for me in my zone seven. They come back every year. So um, I plan on planting more. They're the beautiful white that we planted last fall that bloomed beautifully this year in spring. So I'm going to add some more. Other tulip varieties, I treat them as annuals, especially if I buy them on clearance for like a dollar per bag. I pull those up, throw them away in the compost and start again. They don't come back for me like that. They, they're very sparse and I don't have time to be playing the guessing game. Oh, if I don't plant any tulips this year, will they come back? Am I going to take the risk? Am I going to take the chance of spring come and then there's nothing, just one or two little things, barely looking back at me? No. So I was like, I'm not going to do it. Now here, I am just spraying my gravel, the pathway with an organic, organic spray. I think it's called dead brew spray or something along that lines. It did nothing for me, barely. Um, so I might just have to come in with my torch and be very gentle and torch these weeds. This I understand it's organic, but it's it's just, I don't think it's strong enough. And I also sometimes mix up my own concoction with salt and vinegar, you know, but, and Dawn, but you have to be careful with that. But look at this space, guys. Now, if I cannot recall the names, I'm sorry, because the majority of these plants are from Clarence. I will try to put the, I will put, oh my goodness, ugh, I need, ugh, I need to rest. I need to put the name, oh my goodness. I will put the names on the screen. Okay, so first off, we have this beautiful oak leaf hydrangea. I cannot remember if this is Gatsby Gal or Gatsby Pink. It's Gap, Gatsby something. It's Gatsby something. Okay, she is beautiful. She is given what needs to be gave. Okay. Then we have the phlox. This phlox is beautiful. It's been blooming its head off for weeks now. And I obsess i'm obsessed also flocks new in my garden hello i've been filling every empty space i can find with flocks now let's take a look at this view look at all the layers the hydrangea the nine bark the what is that mm, a daylilies the arb in the back and the ugh, gorgeous gorgeous this daylily it's it's second year or second season in the garden and she is given beautiful just started to bloom at the time of this recording gorgeous and then um this beautiful hydrangea is an invincible spirit to hydrangea this is her i think third year i have this empty spot here that i need to fill in um i'm going to find something to put, put there i probably put another phlox continue that little drift right there but the hydrangea she is happy she is loaded with blooms um hello look at the leaves green and healthy yes she's happy then slowly come around we have first of all i forgot that i had this clematis here guys this clematis was on a trellis that i had that broke early spring i totally forgot about it and now she is just mingling look at her in the nine bark this is a summer wine nine bark clearance <laughs> okay she's a little bit huge but we'll get to that look at that how gorgeous how beautiful just i love it like that i'm just gonna leave her as is now this nine bark, she's a little bit on the chunky side. She needs to be shaped up, but that is okay. I love, look at the movement. Yes, I am feeling it. I am loving all of this. The boxwoods, they're slowly coming around. They were infected with mealybugs. Let's not even talk about it. I was so stressed. These are the only four boxwoods in my garden and they stressed me out, okay? I was so tempted to pull them out and throw them in the trash, but they're coming around. 
we have some wee whites that need to be moved relocated like two seasons ago and i just keep on forgetting and every time they leave out i was like Ugh, i'm just gonna leave them okay they are not doing their best they are struggling as you can see more empty spots in this place you know there's always empty spots and rooms to be filled with more plants but you cannot do everything in one day or everything in a season slow and steady all right made for way around we have some what are those fox gloves these fox gloves or this one particular fox glove was sent to me about three years ago from a garden friend of mine on instagram how sweet and it just keeps on receding receding every season they just keep on popping up and i'm really excited about that uh, i've never really had luck starting them from seeds so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try next season see how I do these are beautiful these babies just keep popping up wherever and I just leave them to pop up yes this plant right here when she starts to bloom oh net breaker it will snatch your edges this is obedient plant it comes in white it comes in like a lavender pinkish purple beautiful now it does spread but it spreads slowly you can divide it gorgeous pinky winky hydrangea she is doing her bang honey i have two i think in this area or three we also have hibiscus like this side of the garden once it starts to bloom midsummer oh my god gorgeous 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 this is the holy grail hibiscus dark leaves you guys remember that classic um mac ruby rue or ruby rue red lipstick the girls that know know that's the color of the blooms on this hibiscus gorgeous okay now we move on down to the rose now it's no secret i've shared it before roses and i are not the best friend but she is putting out blooms this season and i think she's doing okay she's happy and then we come down to these mini malvet hydrangeas this is the best they've looked in my garden okay now they do need some iron they do need some iron and we're gonna handle that get that taken care of but this is the best they've looked and they've been here for about two seasons now okay mini malvet the name mini they don't get that big they're beautiful they're tiny you can tuck them in wherever you guys know i love me some hydrangeas i also have a little empty spot right there that i need to fill in we're gonna work on that come fall okay because you guys know when fall hits it's all about clearance 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 everywhere now look at this view we also have another invincible spirit to hydrangea beautiful 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 this space is slowly coming together i just want you guys to take a moment and just look at this pathway okay gorgeous beautiful the alyssum guys look at the alyssum the alyssum is breathtaking it's beautiful it's light it's airy i also paired it with some sure fire white begonias right now i'm having a love hate relationship with that right now we'll share more throughout the season because they are getting on my nerves like i it says sun or shade this area is sun or shade and they can't make up their mind do you want sun or do you want shade anyway the alyssum obsess beautiful this view beautiful okay yes now we are here at the problem area now the mini whites are doing great they're beautiful everything looks good they're growing the surefire whites mm, they're yeah yeah this area is is my problem area especially in this side of the bed don't worry about that pot with the clay my husband's gonna move that whenever he gets to it it's it's in my way it's too heavy it's too big and i am a damsel in distress when it comes to anything heavy and big help me okay help me so this area is just i had some salvias i had this area packed with what is that purple thing called oh i can't remember the name but it, it's they die they came back sparsely they're just not happy i'm gonna take everything out of here except the hydrangea and the hibiscus and we're gonna start over fresh we're gonna start over fresh in this area as you can see the weeds are there i mean i'm not worried about it and neither should you so we're gonna start over in this area and also on the other side i'm just gonna add in those two invincible hydrangeas in the back the pink ones i'm gonna add them here just so to tie everything in 
um i'm gonna take out this hibiscus this is the mm, fly get away from me um i don't remember the name of this hydrangea but i am going to take it out oh even rose she's dying i don't know why she's dying but she's been here and all of a sudden this season she just decided that she can't do it anymore so it's time for her to come out so that's all we got done and that's a little mini tour of the space i'll see you guys next time thank you guys so much for watching and bye